Yeah, so um, again, on the on the back of my interest in the premonitory phase, um, when you symptomatically ask patients about their non-painful symptoms before, during, or after headache, um, there does seem to be um, a similarity in what patients report before and after headache. So things like fatigue and concentration difficulty are quite common in both phases. And so we were <clears throat> we were keen to to look at that to see, you know, are these symptoms similar before and after, suggesting that maybe these symptoms are not really phases, but just a continuum throughout the migraine attack. Um, secondly, we were interested in whether we could study these symptoms experimentally. So if we give somebody a migraine experimentally and then treat it, can we produce the same symptoms that they would typically experience during their their own attacks and then um, also to look at is that experimental postrome similar to our clinic patients so you know is it representative of what we would encounter day to day in our clinic so that study was sort of um, three-armed in that sense so we experimentally provoked migraine in 53 subjects treated it with an agent that they would typically respond to and then looked at the postrome following that um, and found you know quite good agreement between the reporting of the experimental and spontaneous postrome in the same patients. Um, the, the phenotype in the clinic patients um, was similar, but somewhat different. But, you know, bearing in mind that the patients were less refined in terms of headache days and um, baseline headache burden um, and age and that kind of thing. And then also we looked at this association with premonitory symptoms and found that actually for some of them, it does. There does seem to be a reporting agreement suggesting that maybe this process in the brain starts early, continues, but maybe patients notice those other symptoms less during pain because they're so focused on the pain, and then the symptoms kind of come to again in the postrome until the whole attack settles down, which is which is interesting because I think we may, maybe need to start shifting our thinking about migraine as occurring in defined phases and more as being a you know somewhat cyclical continuum of symptoms that comes and goes in those that are genetically predisposed.